I'm so excited to be sharing my routine on Dear Derm. So when my patients come in and ask me, Dr. Gohara, what do you put on your skin? This is it. It may seem like a lot, but remember, it's your skin, it's your largest organ, so it's definitely worth the investment. The first part of my skincare routine is cleansing my face, which is the, one of the most important steps, believe it or not, because the wrong cleanser can just strip your skin of natural oils and lipids and leave you dry and itchy, and that is not what we're going for, not a cool look. So what I use to cleanse my face is the Dove Beauty Bar, a good old classic, it's been around for like 60 years, and this is a perfect place to be able to save in your beauty routine, because certainly there's gonna be other places where we're gonna be doing a little splurging. So the Dove Beauty Bar, it cleanses your skin, it moisturizes your skin as it cleanses. This is one of my favorites. Second, after I come out of the shower, because I cleanse my, my face actually in the shower, but that's a matter of personal preference. You can do it in the shower or out of the shower, whatever floats your boat. I apply my vitamin C serum. I apply SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic, and this is the first thing that hits my face after I come out of the shower. Now if you'll notice, when you pull out the dropper, there's a whole bunch of vitamin C in the dropper, but I literally only use a tiny bit. I use about that much over my entire face. So remember that because this isn't cheap and you don't want to be wasteful. What does vitamin C do? Well, vitamin C is an antioxidant. It's, lit it's one of the best antioxidants out there. We did a whole episode on this, it's that good. And it helps to protect you against ultraviolet light and the antioxidants in your environment, like pollutants. We're filming this in New York City, and I'm gonna walk outside and there's gonna be tons of pollution in the air, not just in New York, in any city. This helps to protect against ultraviolet light and pollutants, so it's the first thing that goes on my face after the shower. Next, we move on to literally one of my favorite skincare products. It's called Skin Medica TNS Essential Serum. Now, I've admitted this before, but I'll admit it again. I am a Botox virgin. I have not had any Botox or fillers, and I just turned 44, and I attribute that to this product. So what is in this product? You can see it's all gross because I use it like faithfully every day. So when it comes out onto your skin, it has two separate colors. One is a reddish color and one is a tan color. And they come out together with one pump and it's easy to just mix them onto your face. There's antioxidant in one chamber and growth factor in the other chamber and you can see that it really blends into the skin nicely in a very cosmetically elegant way. So you may ask yourself what in the world is a growth factor and what, why should I put that on my face? I think of it like this. Growth factors are little chemical particles that actually promote the production of collagen and elastin, the two things that begin to fade as we get older. So I never go a day without putting it on my face. It doesn't matter what we're doing or what I have planned for that day. So, so far I've cleansed, I've put on my vitamin C, I've now put on growth serum and more antioxidant, but we're not done yet. My next step is, again, Skin Medica Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic acid, as we know, is our body's natural moisture magnet. We're all born with it, but when you're in your late 20s and early 30s, it begins to steadily decline, and we see the effects of that because from dry skin and saggy skin. Again, a little bit goes a long way. You just put a tiny bit on, that much, should go over your entire face. So all the stuff we've put on, it hasn't, hasn't been these huge amounts, and I think that that's really important to remember, because oftentimes people overuse products, it just turns into irritation. My last and final step before I put on my concealer, I'm not a big makeup wearer, but I put on concealer, but before I put any makeup on, I apply, you guys know the answer to this, SPF. Why do I apply SPF? Because 90% of the signs of aging come from unprotected exposure to ultraviolet light. 90%. Also, I want to protect myself against skin cancer, but the former is really motivating for me. So here, this is my favorite sunscreen for my face. It's called Elta MD, and it's UV facial. Some important key terms, broad spectrum, SPF 30 or higher. Any, any sunscreen you, should, you choose should have the terms on it, broad spectrum, and should be 30 or higher. There's a lot in here. I've been using this probably, this particular container, for maybe, mm, I would say like three months. Look at how much is still there. Because all you need for sunscreen 
is about this much for your face. This should translate when it goes onto my face to about a nickel size. But what I really like about Elta is that I'm brown, obviously, if you didn't, if you didn't catch on already, I have brown skin. And look at how nicely it blends into my skin and it not leaving a white or like ghosty film. Dermatologists are always waxing poetic about how you need to apply sunscreen every two hours. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be smelling like a pina colada in the middle of my day. But I have the perfect solution for you. Color Science, it's a product called Sun Forgettable, and it's actually an SPF powder. Still broad spectrum, still SPF 30, and it's a really easy product to apply. I love the fact that it's compact and it fits in my purse, and I love the fact that you can just dab it on your skin like that, and it's protecting you. I also love the fact that it comes in many shades to accommodate skin types and skin tones of a wide array and a diverse range of skin tones. It not only protects me from the ultraviolet light that's coming through the windows of my office, but it also protects me from the visible lights, meaning light bulbs or my computer screen or cell phone that can be contributing to melasma. This, my friends, is a major win. So I don't wanna hear any excuses. There's always an answer to those sunscreen excuses. So after a long day's work, there's a lot of grime on my face and my nighttime routine is kind of my time to recenter and re -get, find my zen zone, because I, I actually really enjoy it. The first thing I do is again, cleanse my face with a gentle non-soap cleanser just to get all that stuff off and get myself ready for, to catch some Z's. But one of the really cool things that I do is use Vaseline under my eyes. I think it's a great eye cream, actually, but also it helps to get rid of any residual concealer that I've had on my face throughout the day. So Vaseline is a really good way to remove eye makeup, particularly mascara, and it's really nice for the crepey under eye skin, so it's one of my favorite things to use, particularly at night. After I do that, it's time for my retinol. So I use this PCA product, it's a retinol. And again, the key with retinols is just to use a pea size amount. A green pea like you would eat for dinner, you just put that on the tip of your finger and then rub it in to the four quadrants of your face. And I consider four quadrants, one, two, three, four. Rub it in, a little bit goes a really long way. And if I happen to have extra, I make sure to put it on the backs of both my hands and even on my neck because your face, neck, and hands are actually considered the same cosmetic unit because we get the same amount of ultraviolet exposure to all three of them. After using my retinol, I go back to good old reliable hyaluronic acid. I use that in the morning too, but you never can use too much. So I use this hyaluronic acid boosting serum, again by PCA. One of the things I kind of like to do, this is a little weird maybe, is I like to use kind of couple products from the same brands because they work well together. So in the morning I use two Skin Medica products, in the evening I use two PCA products. Call me crazy, it works for me. Anyway, again, same thing. Here I'm a little bit more generous because remember that I just used my retinol. So I wanna make sure that I'm infusing as much hydration as possible to make sure that my skin doesn't get irritated or dry from that retinol. So I put a little bit more on and I'm a little bit more generous with the amount that I would have used in the morning. My last and final step, I know it's been a long day skincare wise, but there's just one last step, is to use the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore Night Cream. I like this because it's kind of really biologically similar to our skin's own epidermal barrier. Our epidermal barrier is what keeps moisture locked in and what keeps irritants out. And this cream has a, the same composition as many of the components of, as our epidermal barrier. So here, again, I just use a tiny bit because I'm pretty well hydrated at this point and just put it on top of my hyaluronic acid and retinol. Not to mention the fact that I'm obsessed with the way that it smells and so it helps me to kind of have a little aromatherapy before I hit the sack. It was so good hanging out with you on this episode of Dear Derm today. Make sure to subscribe to Well and Good and make sure to comment with any questions below.